Hello, Kemi. See, you came to watch the Wolf Among Us, even though you wanted Lara Croft Tomb Raider. But I'm sorry, this is a democracy. I did say in the other chat, this is a democracy. So, giving the people what they want. Hiya, Esther. Also, who voted for Tomb Raider? But again, this is a democracy, so I give the people what they want. I'm sorry, did people not vote for the Wolf Among Us, and that's what they got? I was saying with the votes, pause and ask the people which options to choose. Alex, 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 come around the corner. Alex, please don't embarrass me like this on the street, please. Please don't embarrass me. I'm just, I'm just, I need to. If, if, hi, hi, Kemi. Dictatorship. Yes. Alex, I'll talk to you later. Okay, when Cassin or I'm sure arrives, then I'll start. <laughs> I'll play four guys with you if you want next stream, bro. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm on it, I'm on it. Mama made it. Unfortunately, you can't, you're not gonna pop up. <laughs> it's gonna come up as that, like, glitchy thing. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm just gonna start. If you missed the story, that is your own. <clears throat> Alright. I'll admit, I played episode one on my PlayStation 3. This was years ago. Years ago. I think I was in secondary school when I had this game. But yeah. Essentially, what I'm going to say is give it a brief. It's basically a world full of fairy tale, not creatures, but people that you see in fairy tales, you know, Snow White, Cinderella, uh, you know, your Prince Charming, your Big Bad Wolf, all them people are in this story. But it's a more modernized version of them in the real world, if that makes sense. So yeah. And uh, we are playing as, I forgot his name, but he, uh, we're playing as a detective guy who can turn into a wolf. And I'm gonna keep it at that. Episode one, it begins. Biggs, is it Bigsby? I thought it was Bigby, Bigsby? Is it Bigsby? This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Big Bad Wolf. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigsby Wolf protects them from each other. Ha, I made it. Five today, again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember... I love the artist that for Telltale's. Rest in peace, Telltale Games. So I'm gonna get them back again. I don't understand how... Why did they, like... And it is muggy out why, did it, why did they stop, like... They were making, like, so much peas, I guess, weren't they? They had The Walking Dead, they had The Wolf Among Us, they had Batman, they had every, they were making everything and people loved it. I don't know what happened to them. The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> well, he's a sinner. Candy coated for all his friends, he always seems to be alone. Four hundred dollars. 
but they love him. Big Z boom. Hi Shannon. Hello Shannon. Hello Shannon. How are you, Shannon? Mr. Toad. Oh, oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta give them subtitles for the people then. Uh here we are. Wait, what? I didn't put it on. Two seconds. No, no. Cool. Let's go back. Big B! Listen, mate, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. No Look, harm done. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Try me, you know bitch. what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules, G. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. Right. I'm sorry. Much at stake. I'm sorry. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now. <laughs> See, this is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. All right, what have I walked into? What am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh, well, this damn, is how the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Why is so he so pissed? Him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. <laughs> Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. Very prick up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. Oh, I say, <laughs> you want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Oh. <laughs> All right. I know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Put the phone back on, don't want the phone bill running. Uh let's knock first, you know, let's be let's be gentle. I get Wolverine vibes from him. Damn you! No oh, way! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, Don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> what you gonna do about it? Kill you! <clears throat> you why'd you hit her? All right. <clears throat> why'd you hit her? Oh, we kicking off like this? I forgot about this. Hold the phone. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, sir. Come on. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This Ooh. isn't last This is round two, G. <laughs> oh, got the head. Oh, 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 wait, wait. What? What did I do? What? Oh, flip. I was looking at the wrong one. Ah. Oh. 
That's my fault. Watch me kill you. And it'll be her turn. Why can't I move? What the flip? Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eat that, blood. Eat that. Eat that. I hold that. Hold that, cow. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. For the axe, you don't bring an axe to a fist fight, mate. I nearly went the wrong way. Flip. Give me that axe. Who are you even fighting for? That woman, we don't even know what she's done. She probably. Oh, anyway, you he hit her at the end of the day. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, Fritz. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What, what the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. I mean, okay. What do you want to say to that? Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, okay. Uh, what's, your, what's name? your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. What's Don't your make real this name? more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He That's asked me if I recognized oh. him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved a little red It's no sip September, bro. <laughs> Don't have it. <laughs> cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> That was a long fall. Now that at the start of that Taylor Swift song. Shit. Oh, that was your car, wasn't it? My car. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> you How's your insurance, bro? Perhaps? So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. <laughs> even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> oh, what? I thought that was the girl. If he breathes, he's a sim. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, the dog! Damn, this is really making me work. Come on. 
Okay, so, so, so. Who the flip did that? Oh, of course. But he's dead. Mm. Y'all see my eyes? Nah, he good. He's straight. He's straight. Thanks. Thanks. Your eyes are B stars. Yeah, it does. I'm just it does. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. Hey, every little helps. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. How is he still alive? Oh my gosh. Guy's having a bad day. Yeah. Nice two of us. Oh my god. It's a good thing fables are hard to kill. I suppose it is. Oh, there you go guys. Fables are hard to kill. So I just let I just let her do her thing. I'm gonna get rid of the evidence or Shit. Just come on. Light her cigarette. Come on. It's only right. Don't smoke kids. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? Evidence. I'm the sheriff. These lips are sealed. I do what I want. Sorry. Wait, I am the sheriff. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you like my ribbon? It's beautiful. Beautiful. No, I can't be Thank a simp. You. No, I cannot be a simp. Your heart, your heart is a rock ball. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shut up, Alex. <laughs> Let me leave me alone. <laughs> I should have interrogated. Oh, he's gone. Shit. Totally. <laughs> Dragon Stop. wing. We don't oh. have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. No, no, I'm not a simp. I'm not a simp. I'm not a simp. This is Fable Tom. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. May nobody care about you. That's not what I mean. Exactly. Lost cat. Pixel. How much was the A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Yeah. Listen, he has to be a simp I'll at this fine. point. Giddy on, giddy on. I'm sorry. I have to give it. I'm sorry. I have to give her the money. I just. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fifty-eight. It's only got. Uh, it'll help. If I wasn't gonna give her the whole thing, why about offering it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money. No, I want to take it back. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still going to need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Back at my office. <laughs> because it's disease. a little late for an office visit, <laughs> Sheriff. Or you at the zip. <laughs> You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I'm just trying to be a nice guy to the people, them. Good to know. Anyway, shh, listen, guys. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay, it's cool. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. 
I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. You see? You see? Being nice gets you the ladies. I'll right. See you around. Wolf. Bloom is past your bedtime. <laughs> she call me Wolf. Not many people do that. But I'ma let it slide. Because she was nice to me. See, what do you mean no simping? It's just the way life is. You're nice to people, you get nice things in return. You paid a hundred pound for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, technically it was fifty dollars. It was fifty. So I didn't spend that much. Ooh. Oh man, Telltale is just such an underrated production company. I'm, I feel like I should ban the word simp because I was just generally being nice. Welcome to Fable Town, everyone. Welcome to Fable Town. Telltale Borderlands might be the new favorite. <sighs> oh yeah, they also did um the Borderlands franchise. The Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. What time is it? Late. <laughs> Look at the plaque. Look at the plaque. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. This is luxury? Wait, hold, why can't I? Okay, cool. <laughs> Fables created by Bill Willingham. Simp, no, no, that still counts as saying the word simp. Oh, I can walk faster. Okay, cool. Who there? Don't make me have to come out there. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. <sighs> Sorry, Big B. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Beauty. Hello, Big B. From Beauty and the Beast. Stay off the grass. You... I <laughs> wasn't expecting anyone. Where are you going? Where are you going? Looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why did you Why'd hide? You hide when I hmm? up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. It's very true. I'm late. Wait, so why were you here? Please, baby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Oh! We are still together? Too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Psh, I'm staying out of it. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. Because I'm not a simp. Okay. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Later? It is later. It's probably the end of the day, so... It's not what you might be thinking. Yeah, the Batman game too. I have the... I actually have that game in the... downloaded on PlayStation Store, but... um, I don't know if I want to... Did you ever play Life is Strange? No, I did not play Life is Strange. I actually watched it instead. That was quite a while ago, but PewDiePie was one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> I feel like that would resonate with you, kind of. My friend, you don't sleep on the job. Hey, you wink. 
Grimble. Hmm. Probably for the best. Suit of armor. Oh, dusty. Mmm. I mean, I don't really remember the game at all, to be honest. I just remember PewDiePie playing it and just me watching it. Been a while since I got any mail. Nobody care about you, son. Seventh day in a row. Oh, Beast actually lives with. We live in the same apartment as them. I think, yeah. They live in 301, and I don't know where we live in, I don't know. But anyway, let's go upstairs. Wake up and smell the coffee. Who that? Who that? Who? Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Uh Have you seen Cutie? Guys, what do I say? What do I say? Um I I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Oh Whatever shit, that was a stupid reply. Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Oh, he didn't cook. You avoided his question. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna take a drink. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Big B's apartment. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Should have cracked a window. He engages his phone. Look, it reminds me of Jessica Jones. Hold on, this is meant to be luxury. <sighs> what a night. I mean, you bet. Okay, I was going to say you bet it did anything, but let's grab a beer. Minimalism takes you a long way. Cause there's ice cubes for dinner. Ain't even got ice cubes. You ain't got ice cubes. Free ice cubes. Looks like a trap house. It definitely does that. Looks like a bando. It definitely is a bando. Right, oh, ooh, oh yeah, it's pig. Hey, Colin, get up. Oh yeah. Hey. I come up for the setting. Ah, uh -huh. oh, he's deep, deep. Okay. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? It is a peck. Oh, come on, I'm tired. Right, Colin. It's been a long day. Wait, haven't I got a bed? Got a smoke? Hold on. You smoke? How do I not deep this? It's all a bit mad. Pig smoking. That's Thanks. one of the three little pigs here. Couple thousand more of these. <gasps> even on that house. Oh my gosh. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's I understand. like. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. 
It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I just want that rest. was all you were saying I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. If I took a sip, it would even be worse, but whatever. Oh, uh, okay, okay, I think this is how I'm gonna talk. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Are we actually having this conversation? Probably. <laughs> I was gonna say. But, uh, <laughs> no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more okay. than anything. Yeah, that's more you a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. Mario Fernando but it's real. People Pinchow. Cano Pinchow. I mean, hello, bro. Look at How your are you? hands. Got red knuckles. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? Welcome, welcome. I'm welcome. sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's not my fault. It's my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. The big bad wolf. <laughs> I'm the That's big bad the wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Actually, you wasn't. You see? You see? You Name see? One. See? The woman today with the ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. And beauty. I was nice to everyone today, actually. actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Oh, fuck. But she never told me her name. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. That's why I love you guys. Because you make life so I much easier. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? <laughs> well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, exactly. please. Exactly. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Well, what would Paul do? Paul will give him the drink. Thanks, Big B. I'm a nice guy. And simps get nice things. And who said? Wait, I was just gonna say buy a bed. You buy a bed. Buy a bed for me, Shannon. Smoked bacon, baby. <laughs> oh. If I just ignore it, maybe they'll go away. What do you do, baby? Who is it? Oh. Big B. Oh, snow. It's free Yemen. It's, it's free Yemen in the damn morning. Could this not wait until the morning? Snow. Snow. What? Damn, you ain't gotta be rude. Sorry, I'm. It's late. You woke me up. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good Is morning. this point or Dexter? Evening. <laughs> yeah. Prince Charming? B Wolf, isn't that my office? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. The oxygen particles have air. Air? Oh my god. I was meant to say have ears. <laughs> The wolf in Sheriff's clothing. Yeah, I'm not even gonna fake being surprised to I know I know this this episode already, so I know exactly what's in that coat. 
But y'all ain't ready. At least she went out knowing that I was a good girl to her. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was, was a working familiar. girl. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. It is a job. It is a job. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened Biggest waste of fifty dollars. No. Oh my gosh, that's true, I'm not getting that fifty dollars back. I don't think he's dead. Yet. Just give me a second. It's just terrible. Who found her? So who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I hmm. grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then hmm. I came to get you right away. Hmm. No this is like was with you. Among Us. Hmm. No. Big I big think it was her. One of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. I'm joking. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I'm not gonna lie, Snow's pretty, she's pretty good looking. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Oh yeah, the Huntsman. What is? Mr. Toad got her impossible. What's it? What? Ugh. Mr. Toad ain't got nothing to do with her. A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Toad said he had enough. Anyways, I think I need to stop talking too much so you guys can enjoy the story. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. I mean, if the Huntsman is a fable, I believe a fable, is that what they're called? I'm, I'm sorry. Axe this is just so surreal. Must have magic on it. <sighs> Um, what, what do you want to do next? Go for the investigating the time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. All right. What do we got? 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 The bushes. What's in the bushes? Nobody there. Now we can walk faster like this. Cool. The door. Where are you going? Are we done? Oh, not yet. Hold on. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, there's more here. Okay. Anything? Anything? Nope. Aha. Uh -huh. It's over here. Blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I 
I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. I never was understood how that like, you could like tell how long blood's been, you know, how long blood's been out for. Obviously, when it's dried, and it's obviously been a long time, but. Ah, Greg. Hmm. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Who wears jeans? The. Just some loose trash. By its color. Yep, more blood. All right, so they came over the fence. Someone for sure. might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood, still wet, sharp enough. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess that's it done. Blood trail racing now. Um, let's show her. What are you doing? You got jeans on. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? It's a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway. So we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just, wait. just be worse oh. if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. All right. Mario, I do not speak much English. I would love to... I play the speed team. Oh, you don't speak not much English? Nah, bro, it's all right. As long as you enjoy You're blind. Oh. Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Because I work, I work here. here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Alex, if there was a character to like, if you could embody one character, I think it would be Big me, Miss Snow, the one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. You are of your parents. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? No, no. It isn't anyone's fault. Exactly. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. 
Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. We literally just any found her head, bro. Chill. You do know what the hell you're doing? Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard came to mind. Oh. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. I'm if all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. Yep. Game change. We're you playing the wolf among us. handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Okay. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. I just... He's actually really rude. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. Oh, it was about to we'll come out. Right away, Ooh. Sir. It was about to come out. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't going to say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. He gets his morning massage. Um, Who gets yeah. a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Animal crossing. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. I'll let you guys know what I think about Animal Crossing later. You guys already know that. Buffkin! You drinking the wine? Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Thank you, Alex. I actually want people to watch and enjoy gameplay. Nobody wants to watch Animal Crossing. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Esther, Shannon, Ebony. I'm not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring <laughs> the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Hold on, someone else is in this chat. What's his name? He knows Mario. What about. If you reply, you There's reply. How are you? Information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. <laughs> if you buy it for me, it's not coming out of that case. I'm giving it straight to CEX. I don't care how much money they give me. No? No genie? Yes, that's right. You a fraud! Um, let's talk hey, to the mirror. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I Gotta do the jingle. For this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. Strict. You have some yikes. respect for our history and rules. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yes. I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um. Oh, I really don't know her name. Actually, let's let's Show get the, wood. the woods. Man. Yeah, out of the way first. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. 
It's weird that like, he low key rhymes Show what he says. White. Okay, she's right behind me. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I just wanted to see her face. Call me a simp. Buffkin. Buffkin. Hey, Drinking. Put of down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. All right. Let's I don't go. know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Yeah, he rhymes his Nobody words. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Didn't rhyme there. You're drunk, monkey. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this man is a king. <laughs> Leave me alone. <sighs> Alright, um, let's go to where they are. What's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. chill out. Oh, tarot deck. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> um, where are they? Over here. Book of Fables, yes. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Um, yep, yeah. let's start over here. That's me. Hmm. Me. And... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> Huntsman. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. The woodsman, sad. sorry. And the two of them. I wonder what the story was. Wait, what? Was she Little Red Riding Hood? Oh, no, 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 no. Beauty. Happier days. <laughs> Beast. And her man. Beast. Funny. Oh, Colin. And his brothers. What happened to the rest? Go on, speak on that. What's this? I've seen this before. Oh, that's the it's mark on the ring. The man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Was that not English in the, in the yeah, book? Thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bumpkin, <laughs> translate. No, it's not. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Um, this way. Ah, the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairlairo? I'll go look it up. Alairlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak 
and knew her true beauty, and they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Deceased. Donkey skin. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? He's our first sub. Yeah. Yeah, we can't rule him out because he's the only lead we Nothing have right would now. surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Um, anything else? I feel like I missed something in this book. Uh, yes. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. <laughs> well, maybe it's time that changed. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> nice head. Alright. I guess we can move on. Alright, let's ask the mirror. If he will allow us to. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, faith. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These hmm. lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Mary. It's simply the way this has to be. Interesting. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Is he dead? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Being a simp gets you rides. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he did. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. What's the time? Yeah, I need to go to bed soon. Oh! Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Oi, shit. Hey! <laughs> he said, oi, What was that shit. about? Hey! Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's do it. After you. Because I'm a gentleman, not a simp. There's a difference. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, 
Maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, you didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Um... Toad's apartment because um, one, that's where Faith was and where the Huntsman was and it's just so coincidental that someone's going through um, the Huntsman stuff or in that room upstairs where Faith was before so yeah, let's go to the Toad's apartment and plus Lawrence is dead I believe so his evidence can wait there Toad sounds like he needs help right now Last of the shoes I think Cinderella is that shot Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Ask her if she's okay. Don't answer. <laughs> I know. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than a day. Yeah. Is somebody up there? Hey! Who's up? Wait, uh, wait, I forgot who this was. And where did he go? Shit. Why are you crying? I don't even remember half of this shit. <laughs> A lot went down, bro. A lot. Oh, I should have examined the door. Yeah, but through the window, then that means Snow would have saw him come out if he went through the window. All right, all right. Why are you crying? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. What happened? I could have so saved big Lawrence. Big. What it's the? Embarrassing oh, I missed what I was meant to do. But, uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. Oh. There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. Yeah, I saw someone. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Why are you crying? No, why is he crying? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I nothing, damn want really. to. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. You're hiding, Sian. The longer sign. you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown ups, am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Oh, what a lad. He's cute. 
I mean, <clears throat> got a weevil. Sick. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Rubbish. I'm going to find something in your house. You have been hiding something, and I'm going to find it. Why is it There's on the floor? Hmm? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Mm, uh -huh. Because the wind blew it. Man just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? The heck is salts and saltfish? Hmm. Why is it still? Oh wait, forced entry, forced Your entry. Busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. hmm. Kick the to kick the toad. What do you mean, kick the toad? Oh, I thought that was actually an option for real. Ah, the lamp wasn't plugged in. I should probably get that thing fixed. Come clean, Toad. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Hmm. Um, I right, forget that for now. What is wrong with you guys? Why is everyone all all of a sudden saying kick the toad? Oh, 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 what the flip has he done? We don't know anything yet. It's just some wood rot, not mold or anything. Nah, he's deaf. Why? What? You say it's blood, still fresh. Oh well, I'll cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Where? Must have got some on the furnishments. He's such a so bad liar. Oi, don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. What else is there? Flip, there's blood on it. What the hell? Very, very, very oh, sus. Right over here. On the poker? Yeah. Nah. What happened? Oh, well, the casino. That's, that's how it happened, didn't it? I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, Ooh. no, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop a damn thing on my foot. <laughs> Foggy is lying. Of events, really. Hmm. Have I said I get Wolverine vibes from him? I get Wolverine vibes from him. Should have oh called him Logan. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's what? nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Oh, I'm gonna get out of you. I mean, things happen, you know. I think That's you're hiding right. something. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're. He'd be really bad at Among Us. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. I thought we were boys. Now you're lying to man. Ah. Scratches. You what? Open that bad boy up. Look through the window. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. You're a frog, you don't have claws. The bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death.
he be very, very, you very bad at Among Us. The new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Forgot your keys. Your door's busted. You Bloody climbed through the window. Baby, you haven't got claws. What have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, you mate? Need really? Keys. But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So why'd you climb in? There's the another lie. Huh? What why do you mean, huh? You climb in through the window. You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? Up to the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. All right. This is the deal breaker. This is the deal breaker. Wait, hold on. Can I talk to him again? Let's talk to Snow first. Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Toad. What the hell are you hiding Place from me? Needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. All right, I'm I know something's tough. off here, Toad, and I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. Oh, There's Lord. nothing going on. I'll look around more and because I don't want to be that cop. I want my evidence to be solid. Oh, there's a mark over here too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's. <gasps> oh, that's where the lamp no, no, no. was. That's where the lamp was. That hexagon shape. Mm-hmm. Oh dear, dear, dear. What toy could have made us mark? What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless bubbles. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. What? What do you mean you talked to me about that one? To a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken no, up no, 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 no. They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry, I called. Oh, oh, really oh, oh, oh that one. Will okay. you please, please, just bugger off? Not yet. All right, I'm, yet, I'm going to intimidate him now. To my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the guy of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied. Toad. These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Oh, if I intimidate him, then the kid would have came out. Oh, <gasps> he's Mr. bleeding Pope, on the head. Bleeding. Oh no! Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. <laughs> they come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning. I can yeah, tell what you did that. he tell him? What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. What did he want? I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh. 
I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> he's a snit. Uh, he's that Ralph. Sometimes. <laughs> he's like Ralph nothing. from The Simpsons. Idea would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. I have to stick on him. Yeah, but if I did stick on him, then the boy would have came out and he would have been like, Oh my God, you're going to hurt my dad. You're not my dad. Ah, the jacket. Wait, there's a note. If you're reading this, it's too late. It's an envelope. Oh, series. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Open it, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <laughs> it was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, Told see ya. Junior. Go on, give him a hug. Ah, oh, good stuff, good stuff. Snow reminds me of Lydia. I don't know why. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Alright, after this moment here, after we go see Lawrence, I'm gonna hit the Nizze. Lawrence's apartment. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Not like you can read it. Just humor me. Exactly. Just open anyway. This is a murder investigation, Snow. Things aren't that simple. If we try and do everything at once all the time, some things are going to slip through the cracks. That's very Just true, actually. Leave it to me, all right? Let's see what happens when we get inside. All right. Snow is trusting me. Or should I just leave it here? Because this is a whole new different story. Well, not different story, but this is a second part to the investigation. So, yes, this will be perfect. I'll pick up next episode. Um, most likely tomorrow because I finish work at five, so I've got time to rest before we start streaming. And I'll probably um, stream for much longer. But we actually played two games today. It's actually so funny. <laughs> Outlast. We could have finished it yesterday, but um, yeah, it is what it is yeah uh the wolf among us i hope you guys really enjoy this series because i don't know telltale games have a really good um history of like storytelling and you know just visuals and whatnot but um yeah thank you guys for coming tonight i really appreciate it um hope to see you guys tomorrow and um yeah take it easy have a good night and whatnot and i'll see you tomorrow for episode two of the wolf among us have a good night people stay safe and um Stay safe. Wow. <sighs> I need to get a script or something. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um. Do I? Can I just save? Oh wait, hold on. Let's let's check out Book of Fables. These are all the characters we've come across. Big B, Snow White, The Woodsman, Faith, Beauty, Beast, Toad, Colin. I never really, never really read about him in like, in um fairy tales. I've never heard of him. Never ever heard about Buffkin. Maybe there. Ah, Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the Wizard Land of Oz. Now I'll say what's going on. Okay, cool. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been a deputy of mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously. Though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of the Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less. 
Fable Town, the farm. Ah, the farm. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans, giants, goblins, and animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away for the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of these residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comfort. To them, the farm is a prison. Can I go down? Yeah. To them, the farm is, is a prison. They will be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour. Okay. But many don't have the money for something so expensive. Those some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. <laughs> um, the gulag. Mondays, um, people that are muggles. Not glamours. Yeah, we know about glamours. Bluebird. Ah, Bluebird managed to escape the homeland with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions and he often uses this influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, okay, he claims his days of decapitating his brides over and over. Oh, are over, sorry. But even if he was able to leave the violent ways in the homeland, that hasn't stopped him from making his occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Okay, so there's a little bit of background for you on some of the characters we've come across. But yeah, we'll pick up from tomorrow, guys. Um, have a good night. Uh, it's your been boy. It's your been your boy. It's been your boy, Paulie Wally. And uh, have a good night. How many times have I said have a good night? For goodness sakes. Um, yeah. Are you sure you want to turn something there? Or not say progress will be lost? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm going to say good night one more time just so you actually have a good night.